it's Katie from Beautiful Wands. Thank you for joining us again. In today's video, we're going to talk all about retail. I know, retail can be scary for a lot of you, but it shouldn't be. Retail is a, an amazing way to build your brand and your business. It's a way to boost your sales without that time commitment. And lastly, it's an opportunity for you to work smarter and not harder. So we're gonna jump right into it. Um, when it comes to retail, knowledge is power. You should educate yourself on all the products that you have, why you have them, what uses they have for your customers and your clients. I like to think back to when I was a waitress. When I was a waitress, we would come in every day and we had to educate ourselves on the new drinks, the new food, uh, the new appetizers, the new desserts that we had for the day. Now, the more that we knew about each item, the easier it was to sell them, the easier it was to describe them, to talk to them um, with your customers. Now, if you don't have that knowledge, then how are you ever gonna sell anything? Knowledge is power. Make sure that you take the time to sit down and educate yourself so you are able to inform your client and your customers about each product. Now, there's a rule of three, okay? When you're selling products, you want to offer a product or three products, doesn't matter how you do it, uh, three times in one, during one service. So it has to be three different times. So this is just an example, okay? And I wrote this down, so if it sounds like I'm reading it, that's because I am. <laughs> okay, so just imagine that you walk into the salon and you have a nice little retail corner um, and a couple of things catch your eye, but nobody really says anything, so you just leave it at that. You saw a couple of cute things and you went on with your day. You got your service and you walked out. That's how a lot of our interactions go. Now imagine a little bit of a different story. You walk into your service and you see the nice little retail setup, and your artist right away comes over to you and meets you in the, in the retail section and says, oh, you know, this is our lash bath and it's an amazing for retention. Um, you wanna come back to your service. Well, that's one, that's the first time that you talked about a product. Now it's nice because you don't have to be pushy when you are retailing items. Just talking about it like everyday conversation is a very, very effective way for retail. So now you're in the back and you're getting your lashes done. Um, you, you bring up, okay, well, I see a little bit of buildup here. Um, what have you been using to clean your lashes? That's number two. Now, not only is it important to bring up these retail items, but it's important to fix an issue or a need that your customer may have. And this is great for you because it helps with your retail. And it's also great for the customer because they're seeing better retention. They're seeing um, a better experience overall with the service that you're providing. So that's number two. Then at the end of the service, you bring them to the front to pay and you point out, oh, this is the lash bath I was talking about. And here's you know, a cleaning brush that you'd use with it. That's number three. This takes kind of the awkwardness away from the customer having to bring it up or saying, oh, would you add that to my bill? Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm super awkward. <laughs> so I know that if somebody brings something up and doesn't really say or bring it up again, I'm probably not going to. So it's the power of three. And a lot of you say, well, I'm not a very good salesman. Well, I'm not very pushy. Well, I'm not this. Well, I'm not that. Stop making excuses. <laughs> no, not everybody is going to buy retail items and that's fine. And you can't let the fear of people saying no steer you away from retail because, it's, because it is an amazing opportunity to grow your business. Um, you can make just as much in a day selling retail items as you can with your services. And you're not working as hard for it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so let's see. Make sure that for your retail items that you choose great products that are pack packaged very nicely. Um, and they'll practically sell themselves, making retail an easy way to earn money without sacrificing your time. 
Um, make sure the retail section of your store is clean and uncluttered, nicely decorated and, arrange, and arranged in a pleasing way. Arrange retail items near the cash register or in a waiting room. It is a great way to, attack, er, to catch the attention of clients who already have their credit cards in hand. Do not, I repeat, do not use the excuse of fear or I am not a good salesperson to lead you astray from retail. It's time to get uncomfortable and being uncomfortable causes growth, so it's time to grow. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.